So, Lucas, let me ask you this. What do you issue in order to protect your officers? So, to my knowledge, in regards to us being a local company here in Southern California, we're one of the only agencies, private agencies, that actually issue everything in regards to equipment. Um, if you want to pen over to uh, Lieutenant Velasquez here, of course, uniform, badge, body armor for every armed officer, duty belt, um, radio, OC, taser, if need be, baton, all the way up to a firearm. We well, does uh, have the OC, and yeah. you said you have taser? No, no, no taser oh, myself. No, no. Okay. He actually does not carry taser particularly, but uh, we do issue tasers. As a matter of fact, I had a taser comp uh, class earlier. <laughs> oh, okay. We also have a training uh, uh, academy here as well. You're saying that you issue nine millimeters? We issue Smith & Wesson nine millimeters for the uh, company, uh, uh, for company owned the firearms. Okay, Smith & Wesson, which, uh, so which one? Don't hate me for it. So um, I'm a Glock armor, so I issue SD nines. Okay. The reason being is because I can work on them. Uh, they're very easy. Uh, people will probably give me a lot of hate for it. However, <laughs> I've gotten a great deal from one of the local manufacturer. Got them brand okay. new. Got a couple dozen of them. And uh, hey, if it works, I think. It, I mean, I have a couple myself. Yes. I mean, I'm used to it. They're good. I, I believe they're decent, good firearm right. for security work and. Again, people might hate it, never had a second jam. I mean, very, very reliable. If you know how to yeah. use it, of course, and that's a, that's a separate yeah, topic. That make and model, not, not too many people disagree with that. That's actually mm -hmm. a pretty good one. Yeah. So, um, again, uh, nine millimeters, that's, uh, we do allow our officers for their own firearms to carry any uh, allowable uh, caliber. So 45s, 40s. Uh, we, I believe, we had even one person carrying the old school Smith and Wesson still nice. at 357. I respect that, but primarily for the company use, we issue nines, uh, exchanging ammo, stuff like that, and okay. uh, you know, just so all the, I guess, the normal brands, not obviously the 50 caliber Desert Eagle. No, <laughs> no sir, no sir. I sir, I don't even uh, uh, know if. BSIS would allow you that. I believe I watched one of your videos. I'm going to fact that you made a video about <laughs> if that. If it's on the roster, then they're supposed to allow sure, you to carry that. We both know how that works out. We actually primarily, uh, when we certify people, we basically tell them um, we'll certify you for 38, 357, 9, 40, and 45. Okay. Those are your I mean, regular they're, 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 police exactly. calibers. So check out this badge. I thought it looks pretty neat. Um, some people might argue maybe. Maybe you might get it confused with San Diego PD, but it's clearly, it's a citywide protection services and that's the name on record with, with BSIS. Um, they do have an individualized serial number, so that does meet compliance. Um, Lieutenant Velasquez has his name here, which is great. Um, I like how you guys allow people to put like morale pins. I like the Mexican, um, I like the Mexican flag and the United States flag. It, it, it's more of a morale booster, that's great. And then you guys allow um, life-saving pins as, as well. So I think that's, that's pretty neat. Um, so you got your your patch looks pretty neat and then you got your communication device and good man body armor a, uh, a two-way it's a digital trunk so we run digital trunk digital trunk we run um, analog obviously you have the phones and mm -hmm. I can talk talk to you about body cams that we issue later uh, later on that we issue and we run as well this is actually a phone and a body cam in one really so a phone the, and a body cam this is one of the on, we're wow. one of the only companies that That's to awesome. my knowledge is allowed to use this system. The system is called Visual Labs. Okay. It's a, uh, it's, it, it, we'll call it app based, but it's not a regular app where you just download it. It's an app that you have to download from the system that they send you from encrypted server. Interesting. Uh, run it to thir third party. And we're the only private agency, it's for law enforcement only, by the way. And uh, we are lucky enough, the company, I sweet talked them for lack of better words, uh -huh. where they actually, they want to make business, of course. and. We told them what we do and they're like, wow, you guys are very similar to overall law enforcement in regards to what we have to respond to right. call wise and stuff like that. So like, we'll give you guys a shot. And we've been with them for going on two years now, working great. Uh, I can show you later. Um, the reason why I like these is because we can actually, if the officer gets in trouble, the dispatch can actually watch live exactly what's wow. going on with the, uh, with the officer. Uh, so actually that's one of our protocols. If officer gets in some sort of an altercation, dispatch will automatically go live uh, and actually to the eyes of the officer. So okay. forbid if officer goes down or anything like that, we know right away we can right. send him more help if need be. Okay. Awesome. So, same thing with our, our camera system in the vehicles. Uh -huh. It's also, a dispatch has also access oh. to the same thing. Okay. Yep.